one, of, one thing that I would like to, uh, to mention was uh, the, the texture of the brick walls it is not original to the building. There was, there was um, plaster over that and sort of um, um, faded Pepto-Bismol pink um, paint, paint over, over it. And uh, we actually had a, had a work day um, uh, last, maybe last summer, summer of 2007. Had about 20 um, volunteers, most, mostly actors, come out with, uh, with chisels and hammers. And, and we, we knocked the plaster off and left the, the texture that we had behind us. So we had, we had um, that, that bit of sweat equity for all the people that were in, involved in it, uh, in creating the actual mm -hmm. uh, look has been very satisfying. Well, and financially, too, and this project, for the record, is and per square foot is one of the least expensive projects we have on record. It's so much well below the normal construction cost of a theater. Um, and that's you know, partially to people pitching in like that, and Craig for going profit and things like that, and Lewis donating his time. Um, and it's also partially because we were able to take advantage of what we had. And through Lewis's design creativity and Jerry's inspiration, sit here and say, hey, you know, here's something fixed. I had somebody ask me, why would anybody ever want to reuse an existing building because you have all these problems? And I said, yeah, sure, you have all these problems. Hey, look, you know, you already have character. You don't have to buy character. It's, it's installed. It came with the building. <laughs> those, those are the bricks that we exposed uh, that Greg was talking about. I, I gather uh, Greg had not seen the light of the uh, for most of the last hundred years or so. And so they had both an old and a new quality, which was very, very interesting. Um, anything else? I would like just to reflect and remind us one more time about the unique place that the Murphy School has in the history of Raleigh. As, in a way, it's, it's part of the soul. And Jerry, I want to thank you and thank you to the rest of you for having basically continued and expanded and uh, widened and broadened uh, and deepened the contribution uh, that this building makes, but also how it so significantly really does become the soul. And at this moment in time when we have around us literally the blocks being developed with new people coming here, we have set the tone, we have set the character, we have maintained the character and expanded it. Thanks. Mm -hmm. So you need to live up to that. Yes. So thanks. It starts the rebirth of the Blunt Street Historic District. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is a historic district that's been sort of in treading water for years now. All of a sudden, it's getting life. Mm -hmm. I want to add that uh, Curtis is also the sitting chair of the Historic Districts Commission. True. <laughs> and the neighbor who lives down the street. <laughs> Not a small thing. <laughs> The future, uh, as far as I'm concerned, for this space uh, will, this will be the permanent home for Burning Coal Theater Company, uh, knock on wood, for many, many years to come. But uh, we also want to make, uh, make it useful to the community at large. Uh, we're renting already. We're pretty much booked up for the rest of this year uh, to high school groups and middle school groups that don't have theater spaces. Uh, wedding receptions, other arts organizations are producing plays. We're expanding our own programming uh, substantially to, to uh, include a second stage series of, of works that we wouldn't otherwise be able to produce here. We're going to uh, create a film series beginning in the fall. We're uh, obviously the lecture series that, that you guys participated in today will be, become a permanent fixture in the space. Um, and uh, classes uh, for the residents of uh, the Murphy School proper uh, begin in the fall. We're going to offer an acting class and a theater history class, uh, and that will be the beginning of what we think will be a long, long relationship. So the future um, of this old, old building uh, looks quite good right now. Does anyone have anything they'd like to ask before we uh, finish, uh, finish up today? Do you do those acting classes for the general public too? Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, I, I'm teaching a class beginning on June 9th. Uh, it's an Uta Hagen-based class. It's a scene study class based on the teachings of Uta Hagen, who was my teacher in New York for seven years. And uh, it begins on June 9th and runs Mondays for eight weeks. Um, and there's a lot of other stuff like that going on. Our website is burningcold.org, and you can find out about that, too, all, all that stuff. I have a 
architecture question. Uh, what was sort of your thought process or considerations going into fitting the office spaces into the theater? <laughs> they didn't. <laughs> In fact, I mean, really, the only office space is, is that your spot up there. <laughs> and I don't think that really landed until very near the end. I mean, that was one of probably the last yeah. thing that found its its home. Yeah. And, um, and and even that, I don't think, is strictly kosher. It's definitely a good man <laughs> office. Yeah. It's a good thing you're not a really big guy. That's <laughs> <what> you're, <laughs> yeah. your your office would yeah. not, would not be one of one of the um, things that would be on Lewis's uh, portfolio. <laughs> 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 Not yet. Yeah. 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 Still, uh, still come calling for some, some design ideas on that. <laughs> well, thank you all for participating in this and, and, and in this. Uh, we really appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. Woohoo. <laughs> 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 <laughs>